Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Hunterdon County Farm to Fork series. My name is Megan Muehlbauer, and I am the Hunterdon County Agricultural Agent. This week, I will be teaching you about blueberry production. The United States is one of the world's top blueberry producing countries. In fact, in 2019, New Jersey ranked sixth in the United States blueberry production. New Jersey blueberry growers harvested 46 million pounds of blueberries from 9,300 acres, valued at $85 million in 2019. Other major blueberry producing states include Washington, Oregon, Georgia, Michigan, and California. There are five main types of blueberries, northern highbush, southern highbush, rabbit eye, lowbush, and half high. Northern highbush is the most commonly grown blueberry in the mid-Atlantic United States. It grows five to nine feet tall and has a long chilling requirement. Southern highbush are very similar in size, but were bred for southern portions of the United States, those that could not meet the high chilling requirement of the northern highbush varieties. Rabbit eye blueberries are native to the southeastern United States. These varieties go six, grow 6 to 10 foot tall and require long, hot summers. Lowbush blueberries are of commercial significance to Maine and Canada, very northern portions of the United States. They are also commonly referred to as wild blueberries. These varieties only grow 1.5 feet tall on average. Lastly, half high bush blueberries are a cross between high and low bush varieties. They were developed for cool climates and grow three to four foot tall. As stated before, New Jersey is and has historically been a major producer of blueberries. This is in large part because high bush blueberries, northern high bush blueberries, are indigenous to southern New Jersey in what is referred to as blueberry land soil. This soil is noted for its high proportion of sand with a small amount of organic matter and very low pH, which allows the plants to thrive. Although New Jersey is the center of origin for blueberries, they have only been grown as a domesticated crop for approximately 80 years. The first blueberry breeding work was done in New Jersey by Elizabeth White of White's Bog, New Jersey, and Dr. Frederick Coville. Blueberry breeding continues today at Rutgers University under the direction of Nicholas Vorsa at the Philip Marucci Center for Blueberry and Cranberry Research in Chatsworth, New Jersey. Blueberries grow as bushes. They are perennials, and once planted, they can live pro about 50 years. They have shallow, fibrous root systems, which are unique, though, in that they have feeder roots, but no root hairs which makes them extra sensitive to soil and water conditions. Blueberries grow woody canes that originate from a crown. At full maturity, they have approximately 15 to 18 canes. Fruit buds are born on the previous season's growth. The resulting flowers are self-fertile. However, cross-pollination enhances fruit size, weight, seed size, and hastens the ripening of the blueberry fruit. Blueberry flower anatomy actually encourages cross-pollination by bees. These characteristics include inverted flowers, a narrow opening in the flowers to protect from wind, rain, and excessive self-pollination. They also have heavy sticky pollen grains which inhibit wind pollination as well as fragrant nectar to lure pollinators. The United States blueberry season runs from April to October with the peak season from June to August. Each blueberry bush can produce six to 10 pounds of fruit at maturity. Fruit begin to turn blue three to four days before they attain match maximum sugar content. So when picking blueberries, make sure to keep in mind that if berries have a red tinge, they are definitely immature. Blueberries should be harvested every seven to 10 days. They should also be harvested in the morning after the dew evaporates and then put right into storage at approximately 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 
They will keep in your refrigerator for approximately 14 days after picking. Now, there are a number of blueberry varieties that are the result of years of breeding dating back to Elizabeth White and Frederick Coville. These varieties are generally classified as early, mid, or late blooming. One early cultivar is Ivanhoe, which is considered to have excellent, blueberry, excellent flavor, fruit flavor, lots of great aroma, and firm texture. It also has fruit that resists cracking. Legacy is a mid-season cultivar considered to have high-quality, sweet, firm fruit with great flavor. And lastly, Blue Gold is a late-season cultivar that is particularly winter-hardy. It is very productive and keeps very well in storage. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's episodes of the Hunterdon County Farm to Fork series. Tune in next week to learn about blueberry nutrition as well as a learn a, learn a healthy blueberry recipe with Sandra Grency, our family and consumer health science agent. And most importantly, be sure to pick up some fresh blueberries at your local Hunterdon County farm today.